And three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Um, I decided to do this a back-to-back -back episode. So right after you watch my previous episode, you'll see this episode. Um, welcome back to Gamers Guild. Name is KJ. Um, and welcome back to uh, it's a long Japanese name. My Hana Ao Maku, or AKA Uniting Barrage Action, a spin off toe game from uh, Souvenir Dot Circle. And I'm on stage, no, extra stage one. So. <laughs> All right. So for total factions, say I like all my characters. I like not not my characters, but I love the characters that Toe has to offer. I um I'm horrible at the games, but I like know their like origins of the mythology and like character bio. Um, so you got two shrine maidens here, right? Can you tell which one I like the most? Three, two, and one. Okay, so um, those who have guessed, um, Sana, you are correct. Um, actually, like the fact that um, Sana is actually really nice. Um, in the normal skit, Rainbow's really, really strict and um, mm, sarcastic. Like all her, all the things she say are like. Really, really straightforward, which is also a charm. I like people who will be straightforward with me. Um, but Sana is also really nice. Um, between Sana and Reimu, Reimu is blunt and straightforward. Sana is honest and straight, um, honest and kind. Meaning that by just by the tone, Sana beat wins me by the voice because. Both of them are being honest, both of them are being really straightforward to everything they're saying. But, um, Sana is more, you know, on part tone of, um, being more kind. Um, in this game, however, they swapped that kind of attitude and tone. So, Rainbow's a bit more nicer, Sana is a bit more bold, as <laughs> you would say. Oh, and just to remind you, I don't care how this game is designed. I just love the characters on how um characterized. Something e something 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 at something something backwards e dash yeah. Um, if you guys um can see this speech bubble thing um i don't know any computer things and i've tried to patch this up i had this game on my laptop before i tried to patch it up to english um it just crashed i don't know what i've done wrong i've done everything that the online told me to do i do believe install um delete this file so the language thing installs itself in there and reboot the computer, um, restart the game, and it should just run fine with English patch. Um, unless they updated the firm or something. I don't know any computers. So yeah, um... Again. Let's hit the game. Um, a rematch? Now the only time Hana actually fought Reimu was um highly responsive prayer. Or was it? Okay. By story wise, I know that um, Sane was part of um, Phantom Magoria Flower Viewing. And uh. 
Um, it's the one with Aya. Ah, yeah. I forgot which one that was. Um, Aya, uh, Shamimaru Aya. Ah, yeah. That that English name and Japanese name mixing is really, really getting me. Oh, also, Sana is not really a um, magic person. All her powers um, are from. All of Sana's power comes from. Uh, you love to inter um, interrupt me a lot, don't you, Sana? Or is it just me being in a wrong timing? Um, Sana's power comes from her two um, goddesses, Suwako and Kanako. Um, the Mother Nature and then the Suwakoten of Bauten, um, goddess, who decided to take over Suwako Shrine and live together as like a some semi family thing. Um, you can look up the uh, Great Suwa Wars. Um, here's the thing though. Um, I was told that Kanako is like a different goddess who got assisted by Susano, <laughs> but. Susan, well, you know, Susano is the brother of this one of the strongest goddess, Amaterasu. So, um, anyway, Sano's power. Oh, complete break! Yeah. Sano's power comes from the two goddesses. She doesn't naturally have her own power. The only power that that she did get, um officially is to alter miracles like she can basically let's say she wants things to turn out in her favor it will turn out on her favor in a certain alterated form so let's say you want to get all seven on a slot machine and you ri uh, roll it and sana just says i want the miracle to happen it won't give you a straight 777 it's going to give you like three cherries which is basically still a win right there's something in that matter, if I um, recall correctly. I might have to look up more about her natural natural power, not her spell cards. But um, that's what many fans say. Even on rock, scissors, paper, um, if she said, uh, if she she can basically foresee what other people kind of bring out by like, let's say you're trying to do this, and apparently since I'm doing this is like scissor. She will find that as a um, the scissor, but in react to the one hand, she can see the other hands, and if the other hands has um, rock, she will just bring up paper purposely so that only scissor and paper match together, and she will just win right off the bat by just doing basic logic. So, with that said. Yeah, there is your little character bio from Sana. Oh, and for the anime club, I do have a favor to ask you guys. Uh, if you guys are watching, um, uh, I did, okay, I think I already said this before, but, um, I'm asking for, like, at least five likes. If I can get five likes, I'll post the uh, link channel to Facebook so you guys can follow me and just watch my videos for, on your own spare time. But, um, I don't have an official, like, channel icon, per se, for me to, um, Food and I don't have a channel art and I am horrible with art I'm actually horrible with everything the only thing I have is kind of a kind nature uh, that's what I, I like to call myself as I'm um, I don't have a brain really this thing is this thing memorizes anime but not no education I try to scram as much education in this head 
But anyway, um, yeah, uh, be, besides that point, um, if you guys can do me a little channel art, that would be nice. I don't care what it is, it's just... Yeah, so... That's the thing to consider if you guys really like my little um, spiel of games. Anyway, enough of me talking, let's get back to the game. Now the boss stages um just sh shuffle like they change every time I play the game. So um, before I recorded this, I was testing my controller out and my second stage, um, not, not my second stage, my my second stage right off the bat after Chirino, the blue ice fairy girl was this stage. I didn't even get Sanai, I didn't get the extra stage, but it's random so I am hoping to run to um, Satori which is in this game for some other apparent reason. Um, I guess Rimlik pulls her in or something in her other dimension place. Um, wow, that was fast. Also, since it's okay. all right. So, since this is an easy mode, there's only like three, four stages, possibly like an extra stage two. But um, this is easy mode, so it ends almost around fourth stage to third stage. Now, technically, I will play normal mode if I get a bit more experience. But if you guys want me to play normal mode and hard mode, I'll just give you like a sh like a little show, possibly ten minute, five minute bit of how hard it is in yeah, normal mode. Now this looks like a cakewalk to some who actually played um, Bullet Hell. For me, it is not. I'm only playing this because I love the Toe series. So, um, without further ado. Let's continue the game. God, trying to whisper. Trying to whisper so that you can hear the voices. Right, so... Uh, many Toho fans will know her already. She's really iconic to Toho also. Um, she's one of the few who has the European name. Um, her name is Patrick Knowledge, and yeah, as you can tell with her all the library books is Knowledge Equals Power, or... Oh. oh. Hey, I'm so close. Way too close. Um... If I remember correctly... Um, Mercer and Patchouli are like rival and yet friends. Um, Mercer likes to steal books from Patchy, or yeah, that's the name that many people um, give Patchouli, Patchy. Like, as if any any of the games need any more patching up to do. Um, Patchouli knowledge is a uh, spell book. Um, also, another nickname many people give her is Akika Gomori. She likes to stack things in her room. Um, that's like a fan thing, though. I don't. I don't think it's an official thing. I have not seen um, a game that shows that her room is a mess. Um. 
Um, a Hikagomori, just a little side note, is a hogger. Like, you know how people like have like shit ton of stuff on their on the floor, right? Oh, that was fast. Um, wow, another complete break. Complete breaks when you break everything, and like. I think almost clearing most of, most of the bullets is Anyway, guys, um I'll have to stop the recording here. So Yeah, um I will well, actually no. I Take that back. I'll play this until like 23 um, minutes. Right now, my stopwatch says it's 14 minutes. So I was going to stop at 15 minutes because it's going to be too long, but I'll make it into a 20 minute ish video. So. Oh, so yeah, here's the extra stage 2. <laughs> So the game decides to just pull me into the extra stage. So I'm not gonna talk on this one because I have to speed through to just make the time um, meet. Um, if I keep on talking, I'll kind of slow down the game because I cannot concentrate in a bullet hell game if I talk. Stop right there, I'll let you know the story of this character. Um, three basic facts. Kappa, the only um, mechanic slash technician in Gensokyo, and someone who's a little afraid of humans in general. So, I'll make an actual like character bio episode on the next episode. But for now, let's just try to finish this game. Actually, I might have to cut this out anyway. So, I'll see you guys on the next episode. It's going to be another back-to-back -back episode. So, yeah. Until then, this was KJ and Gamers Guild. As always, GG. Bye.